Hello, my name is Daisy Jones and today I'm in my bedroom and I'm going to be taking you through my go-to makeup look for any kind of video calls you might have over the next few weeks. Obviously it's the new normal now to be uh, socialising via kind of video calls and I've found that I've sort of picked up a few good tricks to kind of make your makeup look as brilliant as possible on video so hopefully I can teach you something and I'm going to be using all my favourite Hourglass products. So first of all, I've pinned up my fringe just to get it out of my face. I'm gonna start with my mineral primer and what's brilliant about this is it has SPF 15 in it. You just put about a pea size uh, blob on your finger and you warm it up and then you just press it into your skin. Okay, so the next step is my hourglass foundation and I use the color linen. You dab it onto your skin like so and you can get in all the little bits that are hard to find. <laughs> And that's it, that's the makeup look done. I'm joking, <laughs> that would not be a good look. And you just buff it into your skin like so. So once you've done with your foundation, I then move on to concealer and I use the Hourglass Concealer in the color Cotton. So I tend just to put it on under my eyes and then any little pluke, which is the Scottish word for spots, uh, that you have, uh, I just dab the tiniest bit on and then I just kind of blend it in as best as possible. So before I move on to blusher and bronzer, it's always really good to set your face with a powder. I'm using the Veil Translucent Powder, so you just tap a little bit into the lid. Once you've done that, you use your Veil brush and just load it up and buff it in. So now I've set my face with my powder, I'm going to move on to my bronzer and I'm using the Nude Bronze Light. I just load that up and buff under my cheekbones to give them a little bit more definition. So I've done my bronzer and now I'm going to move on to blusher and I'm using this beautiful colour which is Diffused Heat. Blusher was used quite a bit by my makeup artist on Normal People, Sharon, to help tell the story of Marianne ageing from 17 to 22. So for the younger Marianne, she would not only put the blusher on the apples of the cheeks, but she would also kind of bring it down to this sort of area to give an overall kind of flushed, youthful complexion, which I thought was a really handy trick. So if you fancy that, you can bring it down, but for today, I think I'm just gonna put it on the apples. My next step usually is my eye makeup. And my mum always said that if you're, if you're choosing to do big eyes, you have to do very natural lips, or you can choose to do big lips and very natural eyes. So today I'm gonna go for the eyes. Hourglass have this beautiful glittery eyeshadow collection called Scattered Light. And um, they have so many colors and the pigment is incredible. All you do is you kind of apply just the tiniest bit to your finger and it's so pigmented and just press it into the eyelid, like this. So I've been doing a fair few um, video calls and obviously we've been having to kind of do our own sort of hair and makeup and lighting and costume. And I've kind of found that uh, using just a bit of color kind of immediately makes it look like you've kind of made a big effort, but it's really easy to do. And if you just take a brush kind of like this, you can blend the eyeshadow up and just create a nice shadow. So once I've done the base of my eyeshadow, I'm then gonna use this metallic strobe palette to highlight the inner corners and just to kind of tie the eye makeup together. And this kind of middle color is really good to just highlight those bits. And I also tend to bring a little just to the middle. So while I'm on the palette, what I also do is I take a brush about this big and I sweep all along it and just put it on the cheekbone to add a bit of highlight. The next step is eyeliner, which is my favorite product to use, and I tend to go quite big on the cat eye. This eyeliner is amazing. It's the Hourglass Foyer, it's waterproof, so it doesn't kind of bleed, and it's also so easy to use, so I found that I've been able to kind of get quite even ticks with it, which is ideal. So I tend to do uh, the ticks either side, and then I kind of uh, depending on how either of them look, match them up as best I can, and then I bring it to the corners. So usually what happens with my eyeliner is I start with this eye, it looks great, 
Then I move on to this eye and it goes a completely different shape. So then I have to fix this eye and then slowly they get massiver and massiver until they essentially cover my whole face. So I feel very lucky because I've been able to try out the new Hourglass Mascara before it launches, which is the Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. And uh, other than eyeliner, mascara is the one tool I cannot live without and this is amazing. So I can't wait to show it to you. So what I love about this mascara is it gives my eyelashes instant length and it's also brilliant because how you remove it is you just use um, warm water and it kind of crumbles off your lashes. I mean the difference is just incredible, it kind of instantly lifts and lengthens my eyelashes and I also like to put lots of my lower lashes because I kind of think it gives you a kind of 60s vibe which I just love. That's kind of just mascara, I mean I, I think they kind of look almost unreal, they are so much longer and so much thicker because of that mascara, I just love it. So the next step for me is eyebrows, and I don't tend to use uh, too much product on my brows because they're already quite sort of thick and unruly without needing too much, but I really love the Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel. And all you do is just brush it through. So the color I've been using is Dark Brunette, and once I've applied that, I then use my clear sort of setting gel just to set the shape of my eyebrows. And so I usually kind of brush them all up and then I tend to push down the corners. So the next step is lips, and because I've gone quite uh, big on the eyes, I'm gonna do a very subtle kind of nude color, um, and I'm gonna use, to start, the panoramic um, lip liner in the color canvas. And I tend just to do the kind of Cupid's bow, like this, and color in the corners. Now I'm gonna use a Confession uh, lipstick in the shade When I Was. I don't think I suit t too much of a bold color, so this is sort of perfect for me. Now we're onto the final few stages, um, which is just kind of setting the makeup so it lasts the whole day. And what I like to do is use this uh, lighting powder in the color Radiant Light, which is quite a kind of bronzy color, just to sort of warm up my complexion. Buff it in. So the final step is setting spray and I've been using this brilliant soft focus spray which is the best thing just to kind of revive your makeup, adds instant radiance and you only need the tiniest bit. And that's it. Okay, so this is the final look. I've unleashed my fringe and I really hope you enjoyed. Bye everyone.